What's up guys? According to the latest Nikki Asia report, Apple suppliers in China are behind track on development for one of its iPhone 14 series models due to ongoing COVID lockdown across the country. Based on information from unnamed sources close to the matter, Apple has urged suppliers to speed up component development in a bid to stay on track with manufacturing schedules. Foxconn, Pegatron, and Luxshare Precision Industry are the three key suppliers for the upcoming iPhone models with the latter two companies suffering from the slow reopening of factories in Shanghai. According to estimates, the lockdowns in China and disrupted production of upcoming iPhone models could end up costing Apple up to $8 billion in revenue. Based on past iPhone development schedules, all new iPhones reach the engineering verification test phase by June, but the new report confirms at least one of the iPhone 14 series models is three weeks behind schedule. Apple's aim is to have its mass scale iPhone 14 series production line set up by September, but it remains to be seen if that will be the case this year. John Presser has shared renders of the iPhone 14 Pro, one of four iPhone 14 series models alleged to be debuting this autumn, reportedly showcasing the smartphone's final design. John Presser and Lance Elbow have collaborated again to deliver new renders of the iPhone 14 Pro. Claimed to be the smartphone's final design, Presser asserts that Apple will offer this year's Pro model in four different colors again, at least initially. Apparently, Apple will bring across the gold, graphite, and silver finishes from the iPhone 13 Pro, albeit with a new violet color replacing Sarah Blue. It remains to be seen whether Apple will release a mid-cycle refresh as it has with the iPhone 12 and the iPhone 13 series, though. Unsurprisingly, Prosser thinks that Apple will return to the matte glass back panel, unlike non-pro models. Additionally, Prosser remarks that titanium sides could make an appearance on the iPhone 14 Pro and the 14 Pro Max, albeit without any certainty. Currently, Apple equipped the iPhone 13 Pro and the iPhone 13 Pro Max with stainless steel sides, which it claims offer better scratch resistance than the aluminum equivalents on the iPhone 13 and the iPhone 13 mini. So yeah, that's it for today. Now, what's your thoughts on this? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and yeah, peace out.